startling numbers here. Every two minutes, someone new is diagnosed with breast cancer. Every 13 minutes, an American woman will die from the disease. Those striking statistics are what drive the Susan G. Komen Foundation to keep raising vital, life-saving dollars. All new at 530, Beth Vaughn takes a look back at the history of Komen to better understand its future. Executive Director Natalie Sutton shines when she talks about how Komen got its start. Our founder, Nancy Brinker, uh, made a promise to her sister who was dying of breast cancer and who unfortunately did lose her life to breast cancer that she would do everything she could to make sure that other women's lives are saved. So with $200 and a shoebox full of names, Nancy Brinker launched the first ever Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure. Next month, the race in Indy will welcome 20,000 people, hopefully raising one and a half million dollars, all part of a targeted goal for women's health. This support directly impacts what we're able to fund in terms of community grants and research. Three quarters of all the money the affiliate raises is poured back into the community. We fund screening and diagnostic services for low income and uninsured women right here in central Indiana. There are 14 grantees in central Indiana. Little Red Door is one of them. The women that we are serving have a lot of barriers that they face. Um, financial barriers, but time. Uh, you know, they want to do for their families, but sometimes they leave themselves to last. Jane Ambro launched the mammography assistance program here. You've got to reach women where they are. Because they she knows the you gaps know, in health here, services are broad. People. They're trying to make that decision as to whether or not they should have food on their plates or have a mammogram. That's why she keeps going back to the race year after year. These pictures are from Indy's first ever race for the cure back in 1992. The walkers and runners were women only. The other quarter of the money raised at the race funds research around the globe, including at our research institutes here in Indianapolis. In the labs at the IU School of Medicine, researchers are looking for better ways to treat specific types of breast cancer with the idea of personalized medicine in mind. Our goal with genomics is to really find for each of these tumors the gas pedal, if you will, that drives the tumor or the Achilles heel of that tumor and then find a drug that's most efficient in destroying that tumor. Very soon, Dr. Brian Schneider will launch a clinical trial that he hopes will open eyes to new drug combinations to treat cancer. We have the entire encyclopedia for these tumors. But none of this would be possible without the thousands who wear pink and keep women's health close to their hearts. Women are, are, are a big force to reckon with, certainly, and I think it's a woman thing. <laughs> A model given to us by Susan G. Komen and her sister that years ago was sealed by a promise to find a cure. Absolutely. I would say she's kept her promise. Beth Vaughn, RTV6. And March is Women's History Month, and RTV6 is showcasing and celebrating women and what they're doing right here in central Indiana. And tune in next week as we continue to discover how women are paving the way.